MD of one of the main investors here or uh, partnering, collaborating with the government of Nagaland in tandem global consultancy. The MD, Sharmishta Go spoke to Nagaland News Network where she hopes that partnering with the government and taking over this shopping complex here. Uh, well, now it's called the Integrated Business Hub and Innovation Center. Uh, controlled or I would say managed by the uh, Investment Development Authority of Nagaland. Uh, she has said that hopefully in the next four to five years, a profit of at least 200 crore will come in once this uh, complex is set up. Let's have a listen at what she has to say. Uh, Ma'am, thank you so much. Uh, I would just uh, want to ask you, so your agency that is here has just signed an MOU with the government of Nagaland but then uh, as mentioned earlier we were just having a chat that we do not see the light of day of many projects over here and many funding projects Niti Ayog was here and the vice chairman also but then there's so many projects that has yet to see the light of day for a decade you know which has come so what makes you so um, what do you call confident about actually taking over this complex so uh, we have spoken before as well uh, our my or uh, Shashwat's interaction with Nagaland is about a year old mm -hmm. and it has taken a little time for us to understand how systems work in Nagaland and accordingly we are trying to include our investors into the foray mm -hmm. so N Nagaland is not a rushed place the Nagal Nagamese people primarily it is not a community which is very money centric which is very business like or you know that we have to do everything for profit it's a very slow moving community so now what we have understood the things that will work in Nagaland are the things which also have a social impact mm -hmm. so we have changed the narrative a bit and we are not trying to get projects in this state which let's say in a Maharashtra will do very well or in a Gujarat will do very well we are trying to get projects and investors and partner organization who understand the DNA of a northeastern state a northeastern state which just opened up I do not know about the projects that has started a decade back but I know of, of the progress that has happened in the last 10 months 11 months that I am coming here right and today we have actually signed a formal MOU giving us the confidence of bringing about 200 crores worth of investment only out of this innovation center in the, in the coming four four and a half years so that how will we drive it we will run an acceleration center here which we will do it ourselves because we understand a little of how the Naga entrepreneurs work because we have been interacting with them then we will get partners and big institutions to come and do the training facilitation and job creation in this facility itself something like a tea hub but at a much 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 lower scale so we'll make it an entrepreneurship acceleration and innovation hub mm -hmm. and will generate income out of it so the primary thing being that we do not want to just do something which is a nice thing to listen or you know a yeah. nice thing you know something which is impactful actually in dollar terms is what see we are a for-profit company so like a lot of you know industry partners and NGOs we need to earn so we will inculcate the same in this organization in this uh, space as well we also plan to set up our own office here so that our intents are clear mm -hmm. that we are not just coming and going we want to set it up and take it from there my partner Shashwat here mm -hmm. uh, he has been working in the telecom and defense industry for about 20 years so those innovations also we want to bring into uh, Nagaland so he'll tell you a bit about what innovations are available in the country right now and how we can bring them to Nagaland for your listeners and for your viewers they'll give a real picture of how we are going to achieve this but just before that I would like to ask so this uh, the startups over here are you looking at just local products also of course the make in India like as discussed earlier but are we just looking at local products from Nagaland that is going to have their businesses here the entrepreneurs to set up or is there going to be like you're talking retail uh, uh, but then retail of wh where like is it locally uh, produced retail products no, no. no. see uh, right now we, we were doing some data analysis yesterday the number of startup actually DPIIT registered startups is just 62 in Nagaland. It's very less number of actual registered startups in Nagaland. Right. We have to take this number higher and higher in How the coming years. I think we should be we we are targeting amongst ourselves about 200 registrations in the first year. Right. So th that number of startups, because otherwise, what good are the policies if there are no takers for it? But to answer your questions, no, we're also attracting businesses from outside to come and set shop here in Nagaland and then do partnership work with the local Naga uh, entrepreneurs, both MSME, 
startups see we cannot just think of startups in the small state right we have to think of all kind of entrepreneurship women entrepreneurship for an example so we'll put all of it together and we will also get new innovations in terms of sectors that were not really thought of like we don't have manufacturing here for an example so i'm in talks with a couple of our partners who are into electronic manufacturing light bulbs etc if there can be a facility wherein we can do those workshops that so we don't need to set up huge factories for that you know we can create cottage industries out of that as well the trainings can happen here and after that they can do it from their homes because district wise only two or three districts are active in terms of entrepreneurship in whole of nagaland because of connectivity issues because of internet issues other districts are not so what we will try to do with, through this innovation hub is to take the work back to them where they are so that is the purpose of this place one place where everything can come diverge plan set up the base and then we reach nooks and corners of nagaland this is how we want to achieve so focusing on dimapur Only right now, entrepreneurs from Dimapur. I don't do, want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to understand. So I want to study. See, this is my thought. I want to start with a report which will actually speak of entrepreneurship in entire of Nagaland. What are the districts that are not seeing any growth? What are the reasons? What are the reasons that we can change immediately? What are the long-term things so that even the government is apprised that just don't keep on. pushing initiatives let's say from nitya whatever understand the problems of the people also so where the gap actually is but yes immediately because dimapur kohima another one or two districts are active we'll start from them but my objective is to i think the 16 districts in the state i want to at least know 10 districts in the first year i want to know them what are their products what are they good at what is the distance what are the challenges until unless i have that data we cannot really make man uh, tangible differences so i want to do that as well uh, i'm not uh, sure if you're aware of the unity mall that the government is looking at one district one product for the unity mall and will that be a uh, on the similar lines i understand yes an integrated business hub but uh, do we actually are we really going to help the local entrepreneurs with this complex right here c- considering that we are bring people from outside now they might take over you know a lot of our business establishments in dimapur especially they're all outsiders you know uh, bangladeshis or uh, they're all having businesses here so is that going to be another issue if you're going to bring now, people from now. outside are they going to take over see this is one thing exactly which i just told yeah. we need to understand the real problem on ground if a naga entrepreneur is scared that my agency will come under threat if too many people from outside are coming mm-hmm. first and foremost we have to mitigate that fear that that is something we will not let happen mm-hmm. there has to be these very robust partnership models that okay fine you want to set up shop in nagaland do that but if you want to use this facility it has to contribute to the economy of the local nagamese population as well if you want to get these government aids and grants or whatever is in the policy you have to do a minimum commitment towards let's say i will employ 30% of all my manpower from naga from the local uh, nagaland uh, you know nagamese people or something of that so we are also parallelly working on the policies right. so yeah, we like as the yeah. vice chairman said yeah. that 12 people per startup could yes. be employed yes right. so let's say we come up with a policy for an example that the first couple of years everybody who comes and sets up shop in in this facility out of 12 average per average. needs to have 6 to 7 people from from, from yeah local, local recruitments you have to do to be uh, uh, to uh, qualify for the government sop something of that kind we can put in the policy it's lot of work to be done but i think from my experience lot has happened in the last 9 10 months in front of my eyes so we want to keep the speed up we want to keep the acceleration up think of new sectors like defense and telecom that he will just tell you a bit yeah. so these are new sectors which are not yet there in the people of nagaland and how we can include those sectors as well Uh, just before i come to you last question a uh, very basic question so what is going to uh, the rent going to be like is it how is someone going to acquire a space over here uh, is it going to be expensive is it going to be free or is it going to be on what what are the criteria so, so there are few models we are trying to work on because you see this place is place is also under development so it will come eventually but what we have proposed is like you'll have to do a mix so something which is very innovative and everything for a period of uh, let's say a year or so do a monitorium don't charge any 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 rents yeah. for for one year period just give it to them for free so that they establish the business and they get themselves accelerated once they start getting accelerated mm-hmm. then we can charge a nominal uh, rental for a while the second model which is very popular in other states i do not know how it will happen in nagaland is government takes a small equity 
for every startup to create such hubs odisha has one gujarat has one maharashtra has one. i do not know again see i am coming back to that we are very knowledge based so until unless i do the research on ground i will not know how it is going to be perceived we will do a, a thorough report on this we will publish the report we'll invite you again so that you understand what is actually happening what are our finding says and we will plan instead of making big promises we'll go step by step find out what are the issues try and plug in as many holes as we can and take it from there so, so this uh, is itgc is going to take over this uh, complex yes. it's confirmed with the now, government with yes the government so in collab with the government yes. Yes. okay so to you so can you just tell us what exactly it is uh, your role in this particular complex so uh, i'm part of the intandem team so uh, what we are doing here is uh, i'll be helping them out with strategies and marketing strategy for every startup that is there uh, in every capacity that we can help along with that uh, we'll be running a lot of training programs and we'll also be doing uh, a lot of uh, networking uh, supporting the startups with networking and um, so like we were talking about so we will want to bring in some new thinking around uh, information and technology products uh, whether it's the hardware or software or even uh, defense related products so because uh, nagaland is strategically located very close to the border, international borders and has a strategic importance for uh, rest of the india as well so it makes it a very ideal uh, location for you know setting up uh, something innovation innovative uh, defense startup you know in, in terms of technology whether it's building some kind of a sensors or developing uh, telecom technologies or any sorts of uh, new applications that can come up with here i don't want to bring this up but a lot of the political scenario is also very i won't say grim but a, a very sensitive uh, issue right now the political scenario like you were talking about the international border now the go central government is planning to of course fence the border now right. and we did have our international trade center at the border in longwa which is in mon and all the likes now all of this and there are nagas across the border so i i mean all this could be a factor for you know a lot of entrepreneurs as well and since you brought up the border it's international border look east act east you know all of that so can you just give us a gist on what you would like to also say on this issue see uh, in terms of see, having a fenced border is uh, according to me not a bad thing but then just a dump fence will also not uh, you know prevent the kind of intrusions that we are trying to avoid here or the smuggling right. across borders so if we can have a even if people are not comfortable with having a fence borders we can always go for uh, you know technology based borders which are virtual uh, fences so these sensors can actually protect uh, intrusion and can alert the army at the right time and give them a sufficient uh, uh, warnings before you know they can take actions and they can also uh, have uh, radars and uh, signal intelligence across the border you know so so uh, lastly so this complex now for you what kind of products would you think will be uh, very good for the state of nagaland see my uh, personally my focus would be to bring in products here where uh, or develop products here which have uh, you know can generate uh, intellectual property which will be a long term wealth for the naga people as well as the like so intellectual property would be say if you are coming up with a technology and you create that technology and patent it mm -hmm. right that will that becomes your intellectual property right so that ipr is what can you know give you license fees uh, royalties and it's a long term wealth uh, right. it's not just i create an app and i sell it right. this will give you a long term wealth that you can you know sell that technology further and anybody and everybody who's using the technology will actually eventually be paying you a royalty through the life or the term of the contract we have here mandar who is also from dubai and one of the interested investors i should say who wants to tap in into the agriculture as well as the handicraft sector of nagaland let's have a listen to what he feels would be good for uh, setting up any startups or helping entrepreneurs in this shopping complex so uh, what is your vision i mean you've seen this complex uh, so what is your vision right now even if uh, to invest in nagaland so i have been to t hub which uh, the honorable minister mentioned uh, and uh, i have been to o hub in orissa and this could be the n hub or the nagaland hub for startups uh, this is the vision that the government carries i represent funds from uae saudi arabia and egypt we have so far done investments of uh, more than 1.4 billion 
uh, US dollars across the globe. Uh, India is our target sector for investments uh, in 2024 and 2025 specifically and Northeast is a booming sector in India. So inside India, if you ask me which geographical region, I would say it is Northeast. So we are already doing some work in Assam, some work in Meghalaya. Uh, this is my first visit to Nagaland. Uh, I came yesterday morning and I have done very good meetings here with the government officials and everything looks very enthusiastic and positive.